हेलो पीपल हाउ यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो आई डिड अ अपील ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट टू ऑल माय फॉलोअर्स टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हेयर सो दैट आई स्टे मोटिवेटेड एंड इंकरेज टू मेक सच बुक रिव्यू वीडियोस और बुक रिकमेंडेशन वीडियोस और any kind of videos so if you are new on my channel here and watching me here only not on instagram just please subscribe my channel because i want to make videos i love making videos but a little push would be great and yeah people who have been here before welcome back and people who are new welcome this is manzi from readers and creators and i am back with a book review of a book which is so hyped in the current times so the book i'm talking about is none other than yellow face by rf kwang this one you might be seeing it left right but i'm attaching the image here well it was so hyped so hyped everyone was talking about it although my experience with the hyped book is not so good but i couldn't resist myself from buying it and reading it and then regretting it as usual with the hyped ones so yellow face is uh, tend to be dark satire and people are saying it's a mystery and thriller and suspensive but i find nothing thrilling about this nothing suspensive as such about it just a confused a bit and annoyed a lot while reading this one thing i will give this book is i was hooked and i couldn't keep it down i couldn't dnf it i have to finish the book and after finish it i have to regret i knew that and i did that i read it and i regretted why i regretted let me tell you that okay so let's talk about the author rf kung is a asian american writer and she has written five books till date yellow face is her fifth book and she is known for writing fantasy and contemporary fiction but this is something of a different genre something out of league for her her other book babel is also circulating and hyping up too much on instagram and i have heard great things about it but after reading this i am not sure that i will pick it up or not i am just not sure well so she is asian american and she wrote about that identity of asian american in publishing industry in this book yellow face it's about the publishing industry but i have so many problems with it let's talk about it okay so what's the book about it's about the harsh realities of publishing industry it's about cultural diversity discrimination and racism in publishing or in writing and it's about how western white society literally hovers over or neglects or sidelines the voices of asian american So the concept is really nice and I think everyone should know about this at least and uh, concept is nice but I don't like the book I I'm just going to tell you why well the story is about two females Juniper Hayward and Athena Lu Athena Lu is so famous she is an author and she became a author right out of college Juniper was also trying to be author with her in college but she didn't became as popular as athena then athena died and then there's whole thing i won't give you the story but there's this whole thing with the juniper juniper is the first person narration in the book throughout okay got it loved it the book, the book managed to keep me hooked but why the hype it's just a basic normal book there are so many cons Let me tell you about all the cons. First and foremost, the most ironical problem with this book is one person, Manisha Quills Notes and Destiny. I am attaching the link of her Instagram here. She put out a post on her Insta about a book named Meatless Days, which was published in two thousand eighteen, has a similar cover with this one, Yellow Face. and it's so similar it's so uncanny like it's ironical ki how this book yellow face is book mein baat hai is baat ki ho rahi hai ki publishing industry mein kaise plagiarism ho raha hai kaise copy ho rahi hai kaise churaya ja raha hai kaise koi popular ho raha hai kaise koi non popular ho raha hai and still the book is exactly doing the same thing the covers are so similar see this okay second problem is the concept which is so beautiful about uh, telling the truth of publishing industry they are so short spanned like people will read it and they will forget it 
वो पढ़ेंगे और भूल जाएंगे उसके लिए कुछ नहीं होगा देर वुड बी नो चेंज बिकॉज इट्स अबाउट द वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी एंड स्पेशली वी एज इंडियंस आर नॉट गॉन अ ब्रिंग एनी मॉस ऑफ चेंज वी विल जस्ट रीड इट एंड फॉरगेट अबाउट इट इन मंथ्स आई विल फॉरगेट अबाउट इट इन डेज नेक्स्ट इज द लाइक थिंग विद दिस बुक इज आई थिंक वाइल आई वॉज रीडिंग इट इट सीम सो पर्सनल ऑन ऑथर्स पार्ट इट वॉज लाइक शी वॉज putting out her rage with the publishing industry there is some problem uh, she has with the industry or some issue or some incident and she is putting it out here indirectly in her book you know what i'm trying to say it's so personal it feels so personal it's not like she is giving the message which is about the industry but it's about she is telling what happened with her so no na nah, no next is like climax scenes are so made up they seem so made up because athena died we all know she died there is a whole like four or five pages of her death description and then suddenly there's a suspense which is created so I, that suspense didn't hook me because i know it's it's bullshit it's it's kept there to make the book interesting or to sell it or to sell it to readers whatever but the climax seems so made up it's like they were not having some clue or idea so they put up something and made the climax like that next is characters are not characters like i have read khalid husaini and frederick backman those are my favorite 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 authors and characters in their books are so deep so like live person that i live with them they live with me for years or years so i uh, connect with characters so much while reading a book but in this book in yellow face characters are not characters they are merely just uh, the resource of what author was trying to represent about the industry they were merely the object they were not the characters they were not the person they were the resource or the object so these are the cons i don't like the book at all and i am so regretting spending my money i am so regretting spending my days on reading it and there are no doubt some lines about the writing which fascinates me so much and i have written down in my diary i loved those lines so much but apart from that the whole book not impressed and regretting it rather and uh, I just realized I gave this whole review in English so sorry to my audience who like expect me to speak in Hindi sorry agla book review pakka hindi english mein hoga english mein hoga and yeah subscribe my channel i hope you like this book review and yellow face book lovers who are hyping this book please don't unfollow me let's be an adult and hear my opinion out and uh, yeah just manisha thanks for putting out that post because i lost some part of my interest there only and, uh, and yeah currently i am reading fruits of the barren tree by lekhna chhatri it's a translated book from nepali and it's a pyari pyari book so pyari book and why don't people talk about books like this i will talk about it let me finish it and yeah till then keep reading be happy be safe we'll meet you soon and subscribe my channel bye bye